I've enjoyed black eyed peas in several countries, Brazil, Nigeria, France, and of course the United States. My grandmother cooked black eyed peas quite regularly, and I cooked them a few times a year too. This recipe is a combination of Barbara's black eyed pea salad with a few of the hints from the dish I ate in Paris over 20 years ago. I'm lightening the dish up with a tomato vinaigrette instead of heavier stewed tomatoes. There's also the addition of the octopus. I start by soaking the peas overnight in water. If you have the time, you can let them sprout. This reduces the gassiness. Or you can soak them in water with baking soda. In any event, soaking makes them easier to cook the next day. After rinsing them a few times, all you need to do is cook them for 45 minutes. I want them tender, but not mushy. That should be enough time. Also, I'm boiling the peas in chicken stock to give the peas some extra flavor. While the peas are cooking, you can start on the dressing. Chop the shallots and cook in oil until soft. That'll take you about five minutes. Add the tomatoes to the pan and cook them for about four to six minutes. You just want to get the tomato flavor without them completely disintegrating. Okay, let that cool for a bit. After the shallots and tomatoes have cooled, add the remaining olive oil, red wine vinegar, fresh oregano, and salt and pepper to taste. That's your dressing. Okay, let's get some water boiling to blanch the carrots and the peppers. You don't want to cook them all the way through, but you don't want them to be too crispy and raw. Five minutes in boiling water will do the trick. Then drop them in a nice bath so that they retain some crispness. Next, chop up the octopus into still large but bite-sized pieces. You want to notice when you get a piece of octopus. By the way, I bought this pre-cooked and pre-marinated. Cooking octopus well takes time and even more boiling water, so I opted for the pre-cooked. But feel free to cook your own if you like. Now that everything's ready, we can put it all together. Once the peas are cooked and cooled, mix all of the ingredients with the dressing. Make sure every piece gets a bit of dressing on it. Look at all that color and flavor. That's a summer salad if I've ever seen one. 